I effing hate basements, man. In games like this. <laughs> Holy air fryer, man, that scared the shit out of me. I Hello, friends, and welcome to Final Files and the continuation of Exanimum, The Silent Call. Before we begin, say hello to Maggie and Riley, and of course, Ghostface, you guys know from the Scream movies. So let's continue. Exanimum, the silent call. Last time we were a little bit stuck, right? Hello? Really? Oh no. Are we starting way back here? Okay guys, I will play until the point where we ended last episode and then we'll be back. Okay guys, now we're back at the point where we ended the last episode. We found this thingy here, whatever this means. Is this like 25 or something? We also found one that looked like that. And the couch downstairs. Right? Has this door been here all along? Hello? We haven't been in here, right? Is this a lighter? Yep. Yeah, we have some light. Finally, we can see something. <laughs> that day was another nightmare. I experienced one of the darkest moments of my life. My wife, the most precious part of my life, slipped away, tragically in a car accident. The sound of the collision, the shattered glass, even remembering them pains, even remembering them pains my heart. In that moment, time stood still and everything was dragged into a sudden dark void. But the pain didn't end there. My daughter became paralyzed as a result of the accident. Witnessing her trying to cling to life every day, yet failing, shatters my heart even more. I raised her with my own hands, embraced her with love, and now feels like I've taken her life with my own hands. I couldn't be a good father every, every day. I question why I brought such pain to my family. Perhaps writing these lines can somewhat alleviate the destruction within me. But right now, I feel like a lost, shattered soul. So are we actually the ones leaving these notes for ourselves. Because we had a daughter and a wife, right? Is it because we have gone crazy or something that this stuff happening? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. You know? Oh. Is this like supposed to be our little daughter lying here? Oh no. Silent call. Can I read this? No? Hello? Who's whispering? Hello? So I, so I guess that's our daughter lying there, right? Can I read this book or something? No? The hell's going on here, man? Oh, maybe we can go into this room now, right? Now that we have some light. I think we have a key for this. 
choose. What's this? Can I read it? It looks heavy. Oh, we have a key. Okay. And this? These are the markings that we find, right? 25. And the one on the couch. And then there are two more. Okay. Do we need to... Then we need to find those other markings, right? Alright then. So that's some kind of a puzzle. Okay, we have another note here. Today, I couldn't resist the anger boiling within me once again. I hate everything. This dull life, the painful memories, and most of all, the nightmares within myself. My doctor couldn't rescue me from this chaos. These medications, instead of calming the storm inside me, seem to intensify it. Why isn't he healing me? Why can't he find a cure for my illness? These questions are driving me even more insane. So we are. We probably are. The father writing those notes. We are just gone insane, you know. I'm lost in helplessness. My anger feels like a natural reaction to all of this. Perhaps, I hope, this internal storm will calm one day. But for now, the darkness within me leaves the bitter taste of hatred. Alright. So we are. Who's breathing heavily? Someone's behind here, breathing. Can I remove this? Can I set it on fire? Hello? Can we turn on lights here? No? But as soon as I get close to here, I don't know if you can hear. Oh. Here's another one of those markings. Are you alright behind there? Mister? Mrs? Whatever you are. Okay, we need to find one more marking, I suppose. But what we have to do with them, I don't know. You know? Do we just have to find them and that's it? 1867 Isn't this guy supposed to get out of here and scaring us or something? <laughs> no? Okay Okay, where to next? get out of here now so we also had like I said the marking on the couch here right that's three I need one more the fourth one or is that or was there five I don't remember oh there are four so we have 25 and that marking on the couch and the one upstairs. And I think I saw one in here as well, right? Oh! I saw your glowing eyes! Hello? But there's no one there. This game scares the shit out of me, man. So we had this marking here as well. Now we have five of them. And that is supposed to be some kind of puzzle, yeah? Because up in the top left corner says puzzle. <laughs> okay. So are we supposed to... 
follow those glowing eyes we saw here. Can I go home now? <laughs> I don't want to be here anymore. Can I turn the switch on, please? If that didn't give any light. <laughs> actually see something in here uh, almost barely but there's nothing here okay where the hell do we go next hello can we turn on this light again get the lighter oh I didn't see that earlier Suicide. Okay. Hello? Or someone unlocking a door? Is it this one? Is this open up? No. What door just unlocked? I'm sure I heard that. Is that the way out of here, maybe? This door? No. Well, someone just unlocked the door. But what door? Is there a door behind there that we couldn't see earlier? No. What door could it be? There's no other door in here, right? Behind TV? No. The hell? This is the only unlocked door, yeah? Or the, the locked door, I mean. And of course, the door to... To outside. Or was there a door in this dark room? It wasn't, right? It's a window. Why did we get like an E? We can open this with E. Can we read this? The angel named Safrokul responds to a deep call in silence. Amidst the dark shadows, the lament of lost souls is heard. Shines like a beacon of hope in silence. Those filled with the desire to bring back their lost loved ones must carefully Turn the pages. So we can get our wife and daughter back? Is that what I'm trying to say? This angel is introduced as a mysterious entity exi existing to aid those in sorrow. Those who hear the call may have a chance to find their lost loved ones by following Sarokul's guidance. Oh, the crap, this looks scary. <laughs> Every return demands a price, of course. Nothing is free, right? The returned loved ones may have changed. Not only physically, but also spiritually. I don't know if that's a good thing. Do we want to bring them back then? The shadows of the past can overshadow the future. And brave souls must take a choice amidst loss. While these calls are filled with hope, caution must be taken against the dangers hidden in the depths of darkness. Oh, so we have a choice to make here, yeah? Do you want to bring back our loved ones? 
they could be you know they're not only changed physically but also spiritually so maybe, maybe it'll bring them back as demons or ghosts or something cheers oops sorry for that Okay. Do you want to keep turning? Oh, that was the end? That was the end of the book. So how do we follow this... Sorrow cool? To get our loved ones back? I don't know. Is this Sarah Cool standing behind here? I don't know what we do with these markings or what the hell they even mean. I know it's a puzzle of some sorts, but Hello? Are you Sarah Cool? That doesn't look like the feet of an angel. Can we set them on fire? <laughs> no. So what is with these puzzles? We can't, you know, interact with those markings or anything, you know? We must use it for something, you know? Right? Oh, they, they, they also have numbers inside them. One and two and three. But there's only four. And the, the marking in that bathroom over there was number five. Hmm. Does that mean anything? I don't know. What door opened, you know? What? And this is number seven. Ah, I see. Okay. So that's a combination of some sorts. The first number or the marking is that 25. That was one, yeah? The second one is... I think the one in here. Yeah, this one, yeah? Seven. Okay. One. Seven. So that must be a combination. Code or something for a padlock or something like this. Oh, we haven't found any padlock, you know? Or anything that needs a combination. You know? Hmm. Or heavy? What are we missing? We are missing something, right? There must be. Now we have some lights in here. I didn't know we could do that. Does it have anything to do with this? I can't interact with this thing here. Hello? Oh, I think that was me. <laughs> So what needs a combination? I have no clue. What the hell? 
hell am I missing? Oh, there's a door here. Oh, these to the basement. Do we want to go down there? I effing hate basements, man. In games like this. <laughs> Holy air fryer, man. That scared the shit out of me. I didn't expect that already. Okay. Should always expect the unexpected in these games. Can I manipulate these? No. Hello? Old equipment from the 90s. Yeah, come on, bring the jump scares. I know there will be some jump scare around here. Where the hell are we going? Freaking dark down here. Hello? Oh, it's a secret passageway. Let's have a look around here first. Before we go in there. Okay, there is nothing. Right then. Why do you hate me? Don't leave me. I need you. Where are you? I miss you. Please stay. You, I want to kill you. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. What the hell is this? I don't wanna do this. You shouldn't have come here. You shouldn't have come here. What do you mean? Don't leave me. So we are, you know, taking her life support or something. Is that it? My daughter, a little angel, was dependent on life support. In her hospital bed and facing this reality was becoming increasingly difficult with each passing day. I didn't want it. I didn't want her to breathe in this dark world. I didn't want to condemn her to this life of pain and sorrow. Yet every day the sounds of the machines tethered to her tired body were shattering my heart. The turmoil within me alongside the pain of feeling like a parent was shaken by the desire to do what was best for her. Perhaps shutting off these machines would be the best decision for her. But making that decision was deepening the cracks I had created within myself. 
I didn't know what to do. All I knew was that I wanted an end to my daughter's suffering. And maybe making this decision could be one final gift for her. Holy crap, so I guess after the accident, his daughter was, you know, on life support. And he helped her pass on, you know. To disconnect her life support. Holy crap. What a story. Where are you? Oh, is this the combination that we need? Uh, suppose so. Oh, that's our little daughter. Is there anything we can interact with here? No? I think the combination was one seven, right? Um, one and seven. Now we have to go up and look at those again. I'm pretty sure it was one and seven. And I think the last one is five. Right? That's where um, we saw those feet. Maybe not. Oh, yep. We were correct about those other ones. Crap. We just got an achievement for Steam. Headache. <laughs> I always fought with myself. I can never change the outcome. I'm here. And I'll be here forever. In prison? Or... this a prison cell or are we the mental asylum I guess we went crazy yeah after causing the accident that killed our wife and then we Took the life support of our daughter. Oh, we can read the diary, I suppose. Turn back to page one. <clears throat> this was exactly what I wanted to do to myself. I wanted to kill myself in this way countless times but I chose to surrender I am here now all alone doctors diagnosed me with severe anxiety and depression I'm taking my medication regularly now I aim to heal I didn't want to lose my daughter her cheerful laughter was the only light illuminating my world along with my wife's. My wife died because of me. Maybe if I had been more careful, both of them would still be alive. I didn't want my daughter to endure that pain after the accident. While thinking about 
what I could do to protect her. I thought the silent call book could be a hope. Maybe we could have a chance to keep her alive. But I summoned an unknown entity. A vague connection was established between us. And sometimes I see it. I surrendered eventually to avoid harming people. What a powerful story, man. But I never wanted any of this to happen. Now I've spent the rest of my life in this cell. Doctors will take care of me and I will take my medication. The diary makes me feel better, but I keep repeating stories with the same ending. It's time to end this cycle and start a new page. I've decided to finish the diary. Perhaps a new page, a new hope and a new beginning could emerge. I hope I can find a way of salvation for my lost soul. End. Okay. And then what? To the last page. Oh. What a powerful ass story, man. Wow. Perspective are genius at making horror games. I truly enjoyed them. They know how to make horror games. Hopefully they'll keep on making more games, because these three games by Perspective has been some of my all-time favorite horror games. You know, after every game I have to, had to reflect, you know. And the story of the games have been lingering in my head for the rest of the day after playing them. Wow. Awesome. Cool games. Hopefully they'll make some more. So guys, if you enjoyed these games just as much as I did, consider leaving a like and subscribe to the channel. Horror games is all we play. So if you're a fan of horror games, why not subscribe? So you don't miss the next video. Thank you all for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.